All right, so let's start configuring some of these modules here so you can start getting some stats in your dashboard. So the first step is to install a pixel. So if you're gonna build websites in our platform, you don't need to install that pixel to our internal websites. This is only for external websites. So if you already have an existing website or another landing page or anything out there that you wanna pull data in here, we have what are called data pixels that allow you to track the data and also allow you to um, have leads that come in from your external forms or from your forms, not from our forms. They can actually go into the CRM as well into this platform. But first step is to get your web traffic going. So first thing to do is to come over here under controls, settings, and integrations. And you're gonna click on the pixels tab. Here you're gonna come over here and click on the add new pixel. So this is an internal name, so you can name it you know, in this case, I'm in the Wayne Industries workspace, so I'm gonna name it Wayne Industries. I'm just gonna call this Wayne Industries Live. So this domain is irrelevant. This is helpful if maybe you have multiple landing pages for the same company and you wanna put the actual URL in. This is just for organization purposes for yourself. The actual pixel has a unique identifier that pulls in, it's not domain, you know, it, it, you don't need to authenticate your domain to put this pixel on, you can put it on any site. This just helps you organize what this pixel is for. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to Wayne Industries and hit add. So once I add this pixel, you can click here on the embed tag or embed icon, and this will give you your embed script. Now there's two parts to this embed script that are important. The first part is your tracking. So this part right here is all your tracking. So that's gonna be for any of your website visits. And then the second part is for scraping data. Now I have other videos that go in detail about the difference between these two and if you have to use one or the other, in most cases, you're just gonna grab this entire code or hit copy here and you're gonna insert this into the above the close of the body of your website. You can also put it in the head. Um, you don't necessarily have to put it above the close if you can't access it in your website, that's the best place. Uh, that way it loads last. However, you can put it inside the head of your site. And so right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this script. I'm gonna go out to my site and I'm gonna add this in. Once you add that in, stats start coming in within uh, every hour. So you'll start seeing that stats, um, website traffic and things like that inside of your platform. And in the next video, I'll show you how to configure the pixel to where you can actually get data from your forms that are on your website today.